Today on Garden Fork, I'm going to teach you how to make toad in the hole. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. We're out canoeing. I guess it's pretty obvious we're out canoeing. <laughs> anyway, this is another one of our series of, we're kind of going to do more of this outdoor cooking. Um, I was inspired by Gary from Cooking dash outdoors.com and also recently we got a book uh, by two women called campfire cookery so I've got some ideas for uh, a bunch of different things and today I wanted to make what's called toad in a hole and toad in a hole is an English dish that we were introduced to by our friends Barbara and Chris who live in London but they come and visit us and Chris loves to come split wood which is Yay. great because I don't have to do it <laughs> Instead, I canoe. He hasn't been here in a while. He needs to come back. No, they need to come. So Chris and Barbara, you need to come back and visit us. <laughs> so, and also, if you're interested in how to build boats, we're gonna we built a plywood boat in our last episode, so you can watch that. And we're gonna be building some more boats. I'm gonna try and maybe even make a canoe at some point. This a is fleet. A, this is a yeah. We're gonna have a fleet of plywood boats, just what you want. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. You should go out in the outdoors if you can. Canoeing, super easy, even I can do it. Find a pond near you. Canoes are not that expensive. So. All right, so we're gonna cook. We're gonna use a Dutch oven. You could do this in your oven inside, but since it's the summer, I thought let's continue our outdoor cooking thing with the Dutch oven. Or you could do it in your fireplace inside. You, yeah, oh, for the winter, we could do it in the fireplace, totally. Is it right. in the whole of summer meal or a winter meal? It's a English, breakfast meal usually but you can have it for dinner as well i mean it's basically sausage and dough you know <laughs> it's very english <laughs> really everything is right all right so if you're watching on youtube or itunes you can subscribe to us if you're on the site that's great so let's go cook some food okay okay Uh, yeah, right in the garden. Let me get that for you. There you go, good girl. It's always a bad thing. By the way, dandelion kind of just grows in our garden. And it's edible and it's delicious, good salad. We have a video about making dandelion greens in a salad, so. Other but people mow them down. Other people mow them down, these are good, man. They got a lot of vitamins in them. All right, we need some rosemary. Just cut it up the top like that? Yeah, because that way it'll push back out. Can that stay out over the winter? No, I dig this up and I put it in the big pot and I put it in the greenhouse and I actually water it during the winter because if it dries out, um, it'll die. This is a different Dutch oven. I just got this one. It's kind of neat because it could be like this or it could be like this. And then you, and it becomes a big pot and a fry pan as well. Wow. So what I've done here is I've oiled this one and we're gonna be taking, uh, I like Italian sausage. So this is some sweet Italian sausage that I, get out of here, out, out, out. So we're gonna brown the sausage first. And to do that, we're doing our outdoor cookery again here. We've got some charcoal going. I've got four pieces of aluminum foil. This is very hot, so be careful. How can you tell which ones are the best? Uh, they're gray. This I might have uh, rushed this a little bit. <laughs> Toad in the Hole is a dish that's used, basically a classic uh, dish for the English to use up leftover meats and things. Spam. Yeah, they even use spam. <laughs> and you basically put it in what's called a Yorkshire pudding. Flour and eggs, a little salt and milk. Can you smell it? I do. That's good. It looks good. Yeah, if you notice, I, saw, I have the charcoal chimney here with the other charcoal. And I put the top of the Dutch oven on there to preheat that part of the Dutch oven. Now we're going to make the Yorkshire pudding batter. It's really simple. Uh, this is a tablespoon of salt and a cup of flour. We have three eggs. We're gonna scramble. 
By the way, our eggs came from the farmer's cow. They're Connecticut hens and Connecticut eggs. They're a bunch of local farmers that got together to sell their eggs, which I think is great. Cup of milk. And then I'm gonna change it up a little bit. A lot of English people put mustard in it, so we're gonna put mustard in. And I put some grated cheddar cheese too. Thought that would be good. That's American, I don't know. Some of the rosemary. Is it supposed to be thick or is it supposed to be soupy or what? It's just a batter. It's uh it's it's thinner than cake batter. Why do they call it toad mill anyway? You know, it goes back to olden times. Um, they don't know. They thought maybe it looked like a toad poking its head out of a hole. You know, sausage poking out of the Yorkshire pudding. I don't know. Um, Wikipedia talks all about it for more than more than you'd think they could. Oh, over the top. So now we've created an outdoor oven. All right, so now we let it cook. This is the part of the show where you ask me how long you're gonna let it cook for. How long are you gonna let this cook for? I think about a half an hour. How do you know that? I'm guessing. that it always surprises me when things actually cook out here yeah isn't that weird <laughs> it looks a little souffle quiche like that's a yorkshire pudding <laughs> that's great <laughs> no it's like comfort food you know <laughs> I think you need a knife and a fork to eat this, but... You just have a fork? Mm-hmm. And your fingers. What's it taste like? Tell us. It tastes like sausage uh -huh. with that eggy pancake dough around it with some cheese. All right, there you go. If you're watching on YouTube, would you subscribe up here? or share down here with one of those buttons. On iTunes, you could write us a review. If you're watching on our site, leave us a comment. Tell you, do you have a toad in a hole recipe that you like? Put it down there. An Americanized version. This is really good. Really simple. Like, you know, you could do this in your fireplace. You could do it on the in the oven. You could do it with your charcoal, wherever you really want. All right? So listen to Garden Fork Radio, our internet radio show as well. You can also um, check out photos of the Labradors, other fun stuff on our site, gardenfork.tv. All right, so make it a great day. I'll see you later.